if colors are different wavelengths of light, then what are black and white colors? And Crazy Brain says, my question is that if we see colors and objects based on the light that is reflected from the surfaces, then how do the objects actually look? Are they black in color or white or something else? Also, if we see, for example, a flower pot, the shape and color that we interpret of that pot is the actual light reflected by it or the light that our eyes are able to receive? Yeah, these are very interesting questions, deep questions, um, somewhat philosophical to, to a certain extent. So, yeah. Colors. What are colors? So, we perceive colors when our eyes see light. So light comes in a variety of colors, right? That's how we see it. There is red light, there is brown. Well, yeah. What, what light is this? Is this red? It's reddish, right? This this uh, curtain here. You have books of all kinds of colors, yellow, blue. There is dark, something black, black and white, orange and so on. We perceive a whole range of colors through our eyes. And when there is no light, there is no color, it's just black. So first of all, let's talk about white and black. Black is the absence of light. Black is not really a color. It's an absence of light. So when you have something that is black in color, it means that the surface of that object absorbs all light and reflects nothing back. That's why it appears to us to be black. Right? For instance, uh, this, this thing here, the tip of my microphone, it appears black, which means it's made up of, of, of a substance that absorbs all of the light or most of the light and reflects almost nothing back. That's why it appears black. What is white? White is a white object, like whatever we have here, is something that reflects lights of light of all frequencies away. It absorbs almost nothing. And when you add up all the frequencies of light, all the wavelengths, you get white light. White light is essentially a mixture of all the different colors of light. So that is white and that is black. Black is something that absorbs everything and, and reflects no light. That's why it appears black. And white is the exact opposite of black, which means it is a substance or a surface that reflects everything, all different wavelengths of light. So that's why it appears white. Now, what is light? What, what is color actually? So color is what our mind perceives when it sees light of a certain wavelength or frequency. Frequency is the inverse of the wavelength, right? So when you get, when a, a certain, when light of a certain frequency comes into our eyes, our mind interprets at it as a certain color. So for instance, this is red. It has a certain distinctive frequency. And when my eye sees that, my brain or my mind interprets that as the red color. Certain frequencies appear yellow, certain appear blue, and so on. This color is an illusion. It's just something our mind makes up to help us make sense of the world. The actual world, the actual reality of the world that's around us is way more complex. It is so complex that we can't make sense of it in real time. So our mind, our brain simplifies the world for us by giving various frequencies colors. For instance, if you have a cell phone, yeah, when you when you take a cell phone and you see the interface, you see all the all the different apps and all that, yeah. You see apps and you see various readings. You can do texts and you can do emails and all that. You can pick up phone calls and respond to phone calls and all that. Inside the phone, all of this data, all of this information is stored and represented in the form of voltages and circuits. So if you had to toggle a bunch of voltages and, and fiddle with circuits in order to send an email or to send a text message, you would never be able to do it because it's so complicated. So what the GUI of your phone does is that it gives you a very simplified presentation of what the com actual complexity is. Similarly, our mind gives us a very simplified image of what the real world is. The real world is very different from what it appears to be. 
what we see is an illusion. You know the concept of Maya? It is a real thing. The real world is incredibly complex. The real world is quantum in nature. You have superpositions and decoherence happening all the time. You have entanglement. Entanglement possibly gives rise to time. Who knows? The real world is incredibly complicated. And for us, for our mind to be able to decipher that in real time would be impossible. It would overload our mind and it would ensure it would ensure that we would not survive because we are just trying to make sense of what's happening and we can't respond to the world. So to mitigate this problem, our minds simplify the world for us and they represent all these complicated wavelengths and frequencies in terms of simple colors. And certain colors don't even exist. Pink, the pink color does not exist. There is no frequency or wavelength for pink. And yet we see pink. It is a non-spectral color. It doesn't exist on the spectrum. You know what is a spectrum? The rainbow. The vib gyor that you are taught in school. Yeah, violet, indigo, blue, yellow, green, whatever, right? That is the frequent, that's the spectrum, the color spectrum. There is no pink in that. And yet we perceive pink. There is no white in that, we perceive white. There is no gray in that, we perceive gray. There is no brown in that, but we perceive it. So many of these colors that we apparently see don't even exist. These are non-spectral colors. And that's the trick the minds, our minds play on us just to ensure our survival. So that simplifies the world for us. So that that is uh, an insight into the weirdness of the world. 